hello and as you see I have my pink yes pink bike helmet okay most of the bike helmets are black and and I'm a tomboy partly I'm sure out of a hundred percent of me 25% is tomboy but I had to have the pink helmet and then I put the sticker on there because I'm a little bit of a ninja too. That means I will jump off my bike with my pink helmet and get with you. I'll have to definitely load up pictures of my bike because I love my bike. So I had to show you my bike helmet because my family long distance crack up when I blog on my Facebook about me on my pink helmet and there's a story about one time I forgot how old I was and it was 85 degrees last summer and I thought I would catch the max which is our uh, rail here in Oregon with my girlfriend and her and I hung out with our bikes because we're the same age and we thought we was cute and I said I'm gonna get off the train here and ride home because I thought I was young and how I used to roll my cruiser with no gears child like they had a heart attack calling my husband going where are you at pick me up <laughs> on your way home and in the truck needless to say the pink helmet some people always ask me, let me see the helmet when they come into town. So that's the pink helmet. Love it. So what's today I'm talking about? I was laughing at myself because I was uh, needing to get dressed. I'm going to lunch and I hate the light. And I'm going to start doing my videos in the living room. Get away from my Mac. I've got a camera. I've got lights. It's pitiful. I should be shooting documentary style video. Needless to say, I took some pictures, and I, I've been trying to take pictures of random things in my life this year because I want to do a book, and I've done books for my kids, journals, and with pics, and I wanted to document my life better, just just because. So I took some pictures. The day before yesterday, I was on my bike. I'd ride today, and it's gorgeous, perfect. Not too hot, not too cold, but I'm going to lunch, so i got to be cute. Anywho. I was looking for my lashes, and that's when I started cracking up, going, no, where are them good lashes I had on the other day? So I was looking around, and it dawned on me, you know, in this recession, honey, you can't afford to be misplacing your good lashes. And I was thinking how fortunate I am. I can do my makeup. I can do my hair. I'm mani-pedi. I can do all those things, facial. And, and what I don't know, I will go on the, the Internet and figure out. But I had to laugh bigger than that because I wasn't going to let my pride get caught up and not tell you, you know, tell the few people that listen um, and I giggle with my friends. You know, you can't let your pride get in the way. You will miss out on your blessings. You'll get yourself caught up, spending money you don't need to spend, honey. I take these lashes off and I reuse them. Absolutely. And when I don't feel like buying a you know, wefts of hair. I will pull out my lace front, honey. I will wash her. I will condition her and proudly put her back on. And it just was reminding me to just stay in the moment, stay my feet on the ground, keep it real, especially with myself, because I'm not a person that believes in fronting, because that's a lot of energy to pretend and, you know, make like you are anything or doing anything beyond what you're doing and I never want to minimalize what I'm doing so I don't want to say make it bigger or better because being alive that's the best thing I can be doing is being alive you know like this morning I got up with praise in my heart because I had been having a pity party you know we can always give good advice but every once in a while you get in those pits and I was watching the Monique show and I love Monique I love her because she's real and like she says she's hollering because Hey, if I was living her reality at that at this moment, I'd be shouting too. And I love her enthusiasm and her being transparent. Because she had um, Vicky Winans on. Vicky Winans was singing a song talking about dance right now. Don't, you know, basically in essence, don't wait till the actual victory, but dance right now. Which is a common thread in most gospel music. But God is so good at the right time I needed to hear it. So I needed to dance right now. And um, you can't get quicker to a, your blessing than to start praising. So in the minute of me being honest with myself and digging for my lashes and doing my makeup and laughing at myself, I said, you know what? The only way I'm going to get through this 
over this and out of this is to praise. So I hurry up and threw on Smokey Norville and uh, Kirk Franklin and Karen Clark and you know, and I have a song I've written. And before I knew it, my kids we were getting they were getting ready for school and they was up there and we was they used to be on the praise dance team. So I was trying to totally botch up their praise dance to the uh, firing cages. The presence of the Lord is here. Lord is here. And they were like, Oh mama, please don't do our dance. And I tell you, I've had a smile and joy welled up in my spirit. And I can look at bills sitting on my desk and whatever else that normal stuff in life. And that some days when you're hormonal, it seems overwhelming. But when you praise and choose, I turn the channel to being happy, I feel great. I feel great. When I rode my bike the other day, I was talking to my uh, son-in-law because he's going to buy another car. I'm like, buy a really good bike. It feels so much better. You know, I, I wish I didn't have to get in my car. In fact, if I make this video real quick, I don't have to. But I, I, I love being outside. You really can exhale your stuff away. You can exercise the blues away. You can increase the endorphins. And it sends a natural high that God designed. It pushes great oxygen up to the brain, back around through the heart, through the muscles, and your oxygenates your body and your mind. And you absolutely feel better. You actually feel better. And you can put things in perspective. That is just a moment, whatever it is, it's just a moment out of your day and a day out of your life. So you know what? Keep up with your good lashes. Be good to your good hair. Get outside. And even if you know, you're in the other part of the United States and it's cold, I like the fall. It's a good excuse to wear wool. Sorry to those who don't wear fur. I still have some fur that, I've, of course, I've, been, I've inherited from my mom. And, and if you're into fur, put it on. Faux fur, put it on. You know, whatever your, your thing is, get out. And take, I mean, literally you have to focus on taking that. I mean, even just doing that now, my shoulders relax. I can just feel my, I feel a little lighter in the head, but I, even with that, I feel like, wow, better. So, keep it real. Go outside, walk, laugh, and by all means, keep up with your good lashes. I mean, because they're $3.25.